Hey guys, I wanted to show you where all the money, if there is any money from pretty much everything, uh, including YouTube, um, Patreon again doesn't make too much money and I'm thinking of closing Patreon at the end of December, but before, if I choose to do that, I will make sure that it goes out with a boom. So anyway, this is where all the money goes into. And I spend quite a bit on artwork uh, as well as stamps and just cool stuff. I think artwork is very cool. Magic the Gathering artwork. Uh, you see, you typically see a lot of people do uh, League of Legends. You see a lot of people do anime, but Magic the Gathering isn't pop culture enough that you would have to pay people to do Magic the Gathering artwork the majority of times or on Reddit, when they post Magic the Gathering artwork, it's really artwork that could be in Magic the Gathering, but it's not um, exactly, in my opinion, Magic the Gathering artwork. It's just that someone wants attention and this is the artwork that could be a card, but it could be also be fantasy themed. It's not like anime where you have, you know, you go on Google Images and you can pretty much find every single picture you know, just chibi versions, all types of versions. So I think it's kind of cool that I was able to commission Magic Gathering artwork that would not have been otherwise made. Eternal Witness. A very beautiful version of Eternal Witness, as you cannot see her. We're going to have like a lot, don't worry. Uh, there are stacks and stacks. This is a very... It's a pretty card. I think for Patreon, once I get rid of Patreon, I'll just have more giveaways. Like it sounds really strange, but right now I'm mailing a lot of stuff and it's just very difficult to do that and do a giveaway because it's two different dates. The giveaways never fall on the same date. This is one of my favorite. Um, this is actually not Magic the Gathering themed, but um, they came out really good quality for what they were, but it was a playmat I wanted for a long time. In fact, this was the first playmat I ever commissioned and it was never done. So I paid for it, it was refunded to me, but it was never done. There's nothing like unique artwork. That truly, truly, there's nothing like unique artwork in terms of how awesome and this particular set, so Paige does a lot, but this particular set was from another audit artist, Philia. Like, who would make a Oath of Philia unless you commissioned them to do it? No one would do it, right? No one would make... I think that's kind of why I enjoy commissioning artists so much, because for Magic the Gathering in particular, there's not much out there. It's just not. If you compare it to League of Legends or Overwatch where the artist will be like, oh, I'll make an Overwatch thing and I won't charge anyone for it. That's just not Magic the Gathering. People are not, artists are not all that excited for Magic the Gathering. And the, the ones, oh, New Philia. And the people who do Magic the Gathering artwork and post it on places like Reddit and try to get attention for it, that, in my opinion, I don't recognize those as characters. Yes, it's fantasy themed, but I wouldn't recognize it as Falia or something like that. And this one is very unique. It is Ruby. So she has a specific, she has Yang's pants and belt, um, Blake's corset, uh, Weiss's um, overcoat, and then Ruby's cloak. That one was fantastic, very unique, and obviously I have a playmat of it. Lily. So that's what I'm talking about. You're not going to see many versions of Liliana. Um, if you po Google right now, Pokemon, just Pokemon, and you see how many images there are of Pokemon, fan images of Pokemon, there's a lot. But if you Google Lily, who's one of the most popular, if not the most popular, maybe her and Jace are one and two, you're not gonna see much fan art. And that's why commissioning this is important. 
Ooh, this is a beauty. I'll probably put this here. Actually, I don't remember what the last set of prints are. Obviously, two of these are duplicates, and then I don't remember what the last set is. Falia Chandra? Do I have a Chandra this month? Or... I don't know, but it's not cheap getting this stuff. It's not cheap hiring the artist. It's not cheap printing it. Oh, second Falia. Uh, I'll put her right here. Off the screen. You just won't see that much Falia artwork. Which is crazy because Filia is one of the most popular female characters in Magic the Gathering. It was some type of ranking, I forget where it was. Some maybe on Reddit or somewhere else. And she came out as like one. Lily, which was surprising. And I'm guessing there's another Filia and there's another one of Eternal Witness. So yeah, Google Eternal Witness, see how much fan art. Even like the most ridiculous Pokemon has thousands of fan art for that Pokemon. Like, let's pick like the worst, like Meowth. Meowth is a pretty cool Pokemon, but I'm gonna pick one that's even worse, like Weedle. Google Weedle, and there's just way more Weedle fan art than Liliana of the Veil. Vale. I'm not even kidding you. And that's why, you know, being able to commission artists to do stuff, which is also protective and useful for your channel, and it's also very unique to the channel, is what I enjoy doing. So another eternal witness. So this will be sent out to the Patreons. Some of them um, will get different copies of it. But I have to realign my Patreon stuff because currently I don't think it's working the way that it should be working. Uh, Patreon, I, I believe Patreon works this way. People just give you money and you don't give stuff back to them or you like sign a card and give it back to them but then they pay every month. So I've looked at the top MTG YouTuber Patreons and I think that's that makes sense to me because it's just money, but I honestly lose money on Patreon so I need to figure out a system which at least I break even. And this is where all the money is being spent. So this is one set from one artist. I have three different artists producing three different sets. Paige has even more, I just haven't ordered her stuff yet. She made a new one. Bye guys.